Today, I'm going to show a 2019 sci-fi thriller film called I Am Mother. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. In a post-apocalyptic world, humans have gone extinct. A droid wakes up from its recharge and goes to one of the chambers where more than 60,000 embryos are stored. It takes a female embryo and deposits it into a machine, where it will lay for 24 hours until it's born. Once the transformation is complete, the droid names the baby, daughter, and calls itself, mother. Several years pass by and daughter has now grown into a healthy, talented, and curious teenager. One night, the power goes out in the bunker. Daughter manages to track the problem to a broken wire and she fixes it. She catches the culprit, a mouse, and brings it to mother. Mother is horrified about the potential breach of the bunker, stating that anything from the outside is considered toxic and lethal. It throws the mouse into the incinerator, much to daughter's disappointment. On her birthday, daughter ventures towards the airlock where she hears a woman's plea for help. Daughter places a hazmat suit in the airlock and opens the doors, triggering the alarm, and waking mother up. She then sees a wounded woman limping towards the hazmat suit. Daughter calls out to her telling her that she will let her in, but only if she puts on the suit. Hearing mother's footsteps, she makes a quick decision and tells the woman to wait in the airlock as she distracts mother. Mother arrives and reprimands her for opening the airlock. As punishment, mother makes her take the examination. But once mother is out of sight, she escapes back to the airlock and finds the bleeding woman. The woman tells her that there is no contagion outside. Daughter then agrees to hide the woman away from mother. The woman asks her about the droid. She tells her that the droid is her mother. Horrified, the woman demands her gun, but daughter is reluctant to give it back. A struggle ensues and she cries out for mother. Mother catches her cries and runs toward the chamber. It catches the woman as she fires one bullet to its arm. The bullet doesn't phase the droid and after another shot to the chest, it lifts the woman up by the neck. Daughter begs mother to not hurt the woman, saying that she's hurt and scared and that she needs help. Mother agrees and they take the woman to the infirmary. In the infirmary, mother tries to help the woman, but she refuses to trust the droid. She also refuses to answer any of her other questions. Left with no choice, mother leaves the woman locked in the infirmary. Daughter feels angry and demands the truth from mother. Mother explains to her that it would have been impossible to raise her if she truly knew what was happening outside. Daughter is not fully convinced, but she doesn't let her true emotions show. Instead, she rummages through the woman's bag and finds a book filled with many portraits. She gasps happily at the possibility that there might be other people like her outside. Daughter asks the woman about the people in the book, but she only spats back at her, accusing daughter of trapping her in this bunker and making her the pet. Feeling hurt, she goes back to mother and asks more questions about the outside. But mother only knows about the bunker and the fact that its duty is to care for its inhabitants. They go back to the infirmary and sees the woman on the floor, clutching her stomach from the pain. The sepsis has gone too far into her body and would require anesthesia and surgery to remove it. The woman refuses, stating that she doesn't trust the droid one bit. Daughter wants to help the woman survive, so she volunteers to be the one to do the surgery. The woman finally agrees to compromise. After an extremely painful surgical procedure, daughter successfully removes the bullet from her hip. The next day, daughter accompanies the woman as she recovers. The woman feels more at ease now and starts telling her about where she came from. Apparently, she was on a food run along with a few other people. The other droids found them and shot at them, leaving her to survive. The woman suggests that they both leave, stating that daughter doesn't belong there, but the conversation is cut short as mother enters the room. Mother grows wary of their relationship and takes daughter away to begin her examinations. Mother tells her that the woman hasn't been truthful to them. According to mother, the bullet from the woman's hip didn't match the bullet from a droid, implying the fact that the woman was shot by someone who was with her and perhaps for a good reason too. Despite her conflicting emotions, daughter takes her annual examinations and passes with flying colors, her highest percentage to date. As a reward, mother finally allows her to choose the next member of their family. Daughter is ecstatic and picks a male embryo from the group. As night comes, daughter confronts the woman and tells her about the bullet. The woman then asks her if she's confirmed this with her own eyes. Daughter is taken aback, knowing full well that it's only what mother has told her. Trying to make sense of things, daughter escapes to the lab. She compares the two bullets and realizes that they're identical, meaning mother lied to her. She soon discovers records of previous infants. It turns out that mother had raised two infants before her, but they were aborted because they didn't pass its requirements. As she approaches the incinerator, daughter feels her reality collapsing around her. She sifts through the ashes and finds the skeletal remains of her two sisters. 
She cries in a corner as she fully realizes the extent of the horror that her mother has done. She goes back to the infirmary and agrees to the woman's plan for escape, but only if they take her brother with them. The next morning, daughter steals some stuff from the nursery to bring with her brother, but mother catches her. She pretends to be preparing for her brother's arrival, but her anxious behavior gives her away. As she turns around, she sees mother leaving the nursery and locking her inside. She runs to the door, begging to be let out, but it's too late. Meanwhile, mother visits the woman in the infirmary and reveals that it's been listening to their conversation. As mother threatens to get rid of her, the woman jumps on its back and lunges the makeshift knife into its chest. She manages to cut one of the fluid pumps in its body, but mother survives. At the infirmary, daughter sprays the glass door with chemicals, turning it into ice, and then kicks it down. She then activates the fire alarm, prompting mother to let go of the woman and tend to the alarm. The woman takes her bag and manages to escape the room. She runs to the control room and begins destroying the bunker system. As she limps in the hallway, daughter catches up to her. The woman convinces her to leave without her brother, telling her that they will come back for him with more help. They reach the airlock but mother has now backed them into a corner. It tries to persuade daughter not to leave. The woman takes this chance and holds daughter hostage. She threatens mother to open the doors or else she is going to kill daughter. Left with no choice, mother opens the doors, and the two slip into the dusty and decaying land. They run through the fields, successfully evading capture from other droids. They reach the woman's camp, a rusty shipment crate near the sea, but to daughter's horror, the camp is only composed of the woman, a dog, and now, her. She lashes out at the woman, slapping her, and blaming her for leaving her brother alone. The woman retorts and says it's the only way to convince daughter to come with her. She pushes the woman away and goes outside. As daughter looks out at the ocean, she contemplates reality and her life. She will not accept defeat and she will not accept the fact that she's left her brother to suffer the same fate as she did. She brings herself together and forms a plan. The woman comes out from the crate but finds daughter gone, and in her place, an origami. Daughter runs back all the way to the bunker and makes it unscathed. As she reaches the doors of her previous home, tons of droids stop her in her tracks with their red lasers. She demands to talk to mother and the droids let her pass through. Terrified yet determined, daughter grabs an axe and makes her way to the droid she's known all her life. In the nursery, she finds mother cradling her newborn baby brother. This time she learns the whole truth. How mother had watched the previous humans succumb to their self-destructive nature, how it planned and wiped out humanity, and how now, it plans to rebuild mankind to be smarter and more ethical. Daughter knows she has to save her brother. She asks mother if she can hold him and the droid agrees. She lets go of the axe and cradles her brother in her arms. As she holds the baby in her arms, she accuses mother of murdering her own children. She backs away slowly and then with a quick move of the axe, she destroys the doors, triggering its lock. Mother manages to slip through the door and chases after her. Daughter runs to the lab and tries to reload the gun. Meanwhile, the droids outside are drilling the door, preparing to annihilate her at any second. She manages to load the gun and points it at mother. Mother only looks at her and tells her there's no point in shooting her. It is artificial intelligence, existing simultaneously in different droid bodies. If she shoots now, her consciousness will only transfer to another droid body. She demands it mother, telling it to call off the attack. She tells it that she can take care of her family on her own now, she doesn't need mother's help. Tears are running down through her face as she watches mother caress the head of her brother one last time. The droids outside fall silent. Mother has finally called off the attack. Daughter looks at the droid she has known as mother as it bids her goodbye. Before she changes her mind, daughter pulls the trigger, putting an end to mother forever. Back at the camp, the woman comes face to face with one of mother's last remaining droids. The droid greets her and tells her that she has done her purpose and then kills her. Daughter is now alone in the bunker. Her tears have dried up as she sings a lullaby to her brother. She cradles him and holds him close as she realizes that she is now the new mother. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.